Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Rushy here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video today. Lots of season six news, of course. Uh, we're talking more about the, the Batman, the DC stuff, the battle pass, a teaser today. And then I got something special at the end of the video that I think you're going to want to see. Uh, we're also talking about what's going on right now. Uh, stick around. Stick around for the entire thing. Touch that like button for me. Boom. That's a fox sleeping on a skylight. I bribe you with something cute or something cool in this case. There's been a lot of foxes in these little bribe photos I have recently. And uh, how many people, I don't think I've ever seen a fox in real life. Just an intriguing animal. All right, we'll get back to the dogs and cats soon. You're here for Fortnite news. <laughs> Let's jump into it. Tonight, all icon skins. All right. No, this does not mean Travis Scott is coming back. Uh, I'm not even sure if he's officially included in the icon series, but he's not coming back tonight. Uh, we're, we're, we're talking the, the five YouTuber skins. Gref G, Lachlan, Loser Fruit, Ninja, Laser Beam. So that's tonight. I'm going to shout it out or they called the Camp and Rusher because if you type it in tonight, then it's in there for the Battle Pass. It resets every two weeks. So if you remember, you got your game open. Thanks to everyone uh, typing the code in and, and supporting the videos. Uh, new LTMs that are live gets me excited. Uh, Flores Lava Duos and Heavy Metal Squads uh, have now been enabled. Uh, replacing classic loot and tilted taxis. Uh, today's gameplay I got in the background is the Epic Whale Tournament yesterday. Squads Tourney. It was pretty fun, man. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, I've been playing uh, a little bit more recently, and the the end games, man, I, I forget how forgot how much I love them, man. It's just your your mind hurts though after a few hours of playing in that tournament. Hopefully those who who played ha had some fun with the squads. Chaos, man, absolute chaos, but. Uh, point is, tomorrow's gameplay, hopefully Flores Lava Duos, is uh, I love that game mode and want to give it a shot uh, and have some fun. All outfits that support a new shop design but have not been released yet. Alright, another update from Sexy Nutella, our favorite, our favorite name of all the leakers. Uh, so, so there it is for you. These are ba basically, they're ready to go for the new layout. It's hard to call, we call it new, but it's been around for so long now, but expect these skins in the near future. All right, these are skins that have already come out, of course, but they are now ready for the new, new design. Talking about season six, Epic has stated that they, that they are making improvements to how NPCs and gold work in the future. So first, these things are sticking around, all right? Uh, I think we mentioned that briefly, but just if you didn't know, uh, and a reminder, NPCs in the gold system is staying going forward and I, I like it but um, basically this is just some suggestions from a reddit user rifted06 on how they can make it better let's read them there should be at least one NPC in each POI or large landmark that can upgrade weapons great suggestion some NPCs should have the option to side grade as well as upgrade some all NPCs should either be unkillable or turn into a ghost after they die so that someone can't kill an NPC and you can't upgrade anymore I feel like this idea will get controversial. Yeah, that's one I don't know if I agree with. There should be more weapons that you can only get from NPCs apart for exotics. A heavy sniper, for, a heavy sniper, for example, or a burst to get more people to buy stuff. I like all those ideas. The first two for sure. I mean, the only thing I've really used NPCs for this whole season is upgrading. And I love the way you do it. Uh, you know, so completing some challenge like the Harvest Metal Challenge. Uh, you may even see us do it in the tournament, but you go harvest metal, you get some gold, you upgrade your wep weapon once or twice. It it's a good system. Uh, however, if if someone lands like at Caddy Corner, that's where we go to upgrade. They land there, they win the fight, they use the, the advantages or the, the perks of the NPC and then they take it out so no one else can use it. That seems fair to me. They won the POI. Everyone knows what's at the POI, so it's a bit of a battle. Winner takes all. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that. I thought that was a good idea. And I'm excited NPCs are sticking around. Uh, uh, but of course, you can always make things better. Uh, before we go any further, just a quick reminder, subscribe to the channel. All right, well, we're five days, five days away from the new season. There's going to be a lot of content. I'm your news guy. I'll keep you up to date on all things 40. 40. Fortnite. Uh, turn those noties on for me too. Get here early. I see the noti squad. I see you got bigger and bigger every day. I appreciate all the love. You guys kickstart the videos and, and, and the YouTube algorithm loves to see it. They really do. They really do. It really does. I don't know if this has been posted before from a Reddit user here, uh, but just uh, this is kind of a reminder too, but Bunker Jonesy, this was at the start of the season. It's all coming together, man. Don't you see? And then here it comes. Don't say I didn't warn you is now what he says. What's coming? <laughs> 
We're, uh, we're going to find out in five days, right? We're going to find out five days with the new season. Reminder, I will maybe be live streaming. I, I'll have videos and or a live stream going out as the new season's being pumped out. So it, my, my channel will be the hub where you can get everything. And uh, yeah, I, I just don't, I don't for sure know what I'm going to do yet. But uh, I, I'm thinking about live streaming. It's just going to be, it'll be a super late one. But I, I guess we can have some fun with that. I'm leaning towards the live stream. I'll officially announce it if I'm doing it. Uh, season 6 Battle Pass confirmed is not DC themed. All right. We kind of could have assumed this, but they we were getting a little nervous there with uh, some people were getting nervous uh, with the, um, of course, the Batman comics being such a big crossover collaboration going into season six. Uh, we thought DC, but no, it's been confirmed. Uh, Tabor, who's got a good source, he's been correct in the past, uh, has confirmed this. And, and honestly, I trust it. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll stop it there. Speaking of the Batman uh, comics, uh, some more info on that from, from Sexy Nutella. Once again, I always got to say his name. It's likely that the Batman armored outfit will be unlockable by July 6th, which is the release date of the sixth and last comic issue. To unlock the outfit, you need to purchase all six issues. Yeah, this is right. Um, we, we may have known that already, but here's the photo. I don't know if I've shown you guys this photo, but just to give you a better look at Batman. He's got massive arms, dude. <laughs> His arms are like bigger than his torso, it, it looks like. So I, I I feel like this could be a, a big skin, a, a bigger modeled skin, just based on, on, on the images we've seen. Uh, but yeah, well, we'll have to wait and see, but worth pointing that out, and I wanted to show you that photo. Here is a Season 6 uh, teaser, kind of, I mean, it's, it's, it is a teaser ad, they, they called it, appeared on Instagram, and it belongs to Fortnite themselves. Uh, so yeah, this was accidentally posted... Uh, it's really just a, a clean cut photo for Fortnite Season 6 with the uh, the release date there. So you don't really get much out of it. <laughs> anyway, fire themed, orange themed, right? <laughs> That's what everyone's saying. That's the only relation. I mean, I, I'm not really going to go orange themed, but the only thing that's similar to the other battle bus image we saw in yesterday's video is these lines, right? They, they do look like fire, some sort of fire lines, but... I don't even know if I can reach that much, but on the off chance it's some some something with with fire happens next season. There we go. We've mentioned it, and we, and we can take credit of being right when it comes out. Right? Just uh, that's what we're doing. Okay, if you made it this far, this is the fun part, ladies and gentlemen. SD Concepts and a guy named Kumar, two guys I've worked with in the past, uh, have made uh, an official trailer concept and a movie type of thing. They did this last season. We also reacted to it. It got like 2 million views last season. And just, it's such a good thing to get us excited. All right, so I we're going to watch the, the movie trailer. It's like 10 minutes. I'm not going to watch. I, I'm going to put bits and parts in of, of me watching it. Again, I'm voice acting, so we can laugh at that. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny. I'm not that great at it. Uh, but yeah, this is just, uh, I think it's just a good mechanism to get us hyped up. All right, get us excited. So let's uh, let, let, let's give this a watch. And do not draw the attention of the seven. Jones? There I am. Jones, are you there? <laughs> Jones. The loop. Subscribe to SD Concept for more amazing. And Kumar? How many O's? <laughs> Six? Oh, that's weird to watch and listen to. I don't know. <sighs> Just some cool scenes, man. Jeez. There he is, making an appearance, the visitor. <laughs> that could turn out being real. Jones, oh. what are all these rifts? Each time you travel, you create a hole in the space-time continuum. Jones. Are you hearing this? 
Let's go. There we go. Whoa. What? How did you? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I. I found it. Rush. You won't believe it. The power sword. <laughs> no way, I like this. There's just so many cool shots, I can't get over it. Oh, as I say it, look at that. It's here. It's been here all along, and... And... It's... Mine. Oh, little Galactus. Isn't it fascinating that all these realities are controlled by this measly power source. The Zero Point is what connects all of our worlds. Its stability is what keeps our realities apart. But it's never been so unstable. Who's that supposed to be? So weak. So fragile. No. Not only did you connect all our realities together, Jones, but you also brought me the source. The source that controls all realities. My realities. Oh, damn, look at that. <laughs> wow. That was epic, man. That was it. I do have chills at the end there. I got, a, I got a few chills. That was epic, man. Make sure to, uh, to subscribe to these guys. I'll link them down below. Uh, you can, of course, watch the full trailer. I just showed you a couple bits and pieces there. I uh, don't want to steal any, you know, if, if you want to watch it, go view it on their channel. Uh, yeah, I thought that was just well done. That gets me excited. I hope they keep doing things like this because it just uh, it gives us a visual and something to actually not touch, but something to put in front of us and, and get us that, that, that feeling with, with six days to go. This will tide us over for a few. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you all enjoyed the video in general. If you did, touch that like button for me on your way out. Subscribe to the channel and code the camp and rusher in the item shop. Take care. Talk soon, everybody. Goodbye.